Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at my 156th Master Grade, the Hyakushiki Crash. Now this is from one of the Gundam Build Fighter series. I never watched it. I just saw this kit. I thought it looked really cool. I wanted it. I have it. I built it. Let's look at it. There we go. Now, this is based heavily off the Hyakushiki 2.0. Shocking, I know. Very similar frame, but what the difference is, it's kind of been stretched out. You see, the upper body is almost straight copy Hyakushiki. The lower body is a different waist section. Much thinner, much more spread out, much more, I don't know, not Gundam, really. Head, straight up Hyakushiki, just a color swap. Minor complaint, the eyes, they don't give you a sticker for, they give you a water slide decal. We couldn't just get the regular sticker for the eyes. It would have made my life simpler, but man, yeah, whatever. Fine. Water slide decal. Clear pieces for clear green pieces for the front and back cameras. They give you decals for that if you want, but whatever. But you can see upper body pretty much the same. Lower body completely different. S stretched out longer. Skirt armor pretty much the same thing. The skirt armor just looks pretty much the same, except again, it's stretched out just a little bit. It's a slightly longer, more lengthy. Arms, the shoulder pads are just bigger versions of the Hyakushi. They've about doubled them up. Hands are 2.0, three, one, and then the thumb. The arms, big old forearms, tiny little biceps. So, kind of a weird design. But again, they're going for that stretched out, thinner look. Uh, variable hips with those two different versions. So you can move the hips around any way you want. Big, kind of bulky shoulders. Get in the way of posing a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing terrible. There are other issues with posing, but we'll get there. Backpack on this thing. Kind of weird. These two big old hanging thruster things, which are just odd looking to hang off backpack. Basically, Hyakushiki wings just a heck of a lot bigger. And you got these two cables that look like they connect from the Gundam to the backpack. It's actually the other way around. And they just kind of plug in. They don't actually plug into anything on the back. They just kind of rest there. And they will fall out every now and then. Not really when it's on the Gundam, but when you're attaching it, it can be a bit of a pain. The wings on the back are just extended. The bottom ones, anyway. Did have a piece crack when I was building this. Luckily, it's inside the wing. I think I had the exact same problem with the 2.0 Hyakushiki. But, like I said, since it's inside the wing, you don't see it. Slap it on there. Like I said, it looks like it connects into the Gundam. It really doesn't. It connects everything in the backpack. Those cables do nothing. Legs are, again, the thighs are just extended out. And the feet are a little bit bigger. And this thing has terrible balance. And, yeah, okay, Phil. The balance on this thing is lousy. I've seen worse, but oh boy, I've definitely seen better. Beam sabers, standard bl handle with yellow blade. Eh, could have given it blue to match the eyes. Guess I'm being picky. Again, they can be hooked onto the back skirt armor if you so choose. Now, the gun on this big mamma jamma is gigantic. Technically, I have those shields on backwards. I didn't notice that until the end. The little shield pieces, the little pieces should be pointing up. So I got them on backwards. Big deal. Either way, it looks good. But this is a huge gun. You can take off those bits here and that piece on the top. And you can make that into a shield, which can be attached on the arm. Okay, sure. I'm personally going to leave it on the gun. Now, here's the tricky part. See, I told you it has lousy balance, and it can hold this gun for crud. This gun is about double the size of the standard Hyakushiki gun. The wrist, the elbow can actually do it. The wrist can't, and the shoulder joint can't really hold this thing all that well. I mean, you can fiddle with it, and in pictures they show it holding it one-handed. It, it, it's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is a two-hander, but on the ground, his balance is so lousy... That just ain't happening. Got him standing up pre-decals. He actually stands a little bit better with the gun, believe it or not. The gun almost acts as a tripod kind of thing. 
But on the ground, there's not a whole lot he can do besides stand there and look cool. You see him all decaled up compared to next to the Hyakushiki 2.0. You can see he's really just stretched out. Longer legs, slightly longer arms, bigger shoulders, longer waist. Taller, skinnier version of Hyakushiki. The decals are all water slide. They look nice. I really like the calligraphy ones. They give you lots of bonus. I'm always in favor of that. Good on action base, airborne. It's a two-hander gun. There's no option for one. But even in the air, there's only so much you can kind of do with them. I mean, it's easier to pose with them. Don't get me wrong. It eliminates the balance issue. But there's just not a ton of great poses from this thing. It's tall and kind of unwieldy. But it looks cool. Final thoughts on this kit. I'm not going to give this kit a thumbs up. If we were talking about, does this look cool? Yes. It looks amazing. I love the gunmetal. I love the details. I love the... The calligraphy and all the different options you can do with the decals and the look and the just weirdness of it. And it doesn't quite look like a Gundam, but it still kind of does. And it's neat that way. But it's also really, really expensive. And you can't pose with it. And the balance stinks. And the accessories are nothing to write home about. If you find this thing at a really good sale price, if you find it someplace cheap, eh, sure, pick it up. But at standard price for a P Bandai kit, I just can't say yes, get it. It's a nice kit, but it's not worth the money. If you see one at a really good price and you think it looks cool, which it does, eh, sure. But, eh, it's really expensive for this. Well, Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, please ask them. I will answer them as best I can. Please stay tuned for more. I always got more reviews coming. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Yakushiki car crash. Yakushiki plane crash. Yakushiki bike crash. Yakushiki wedding crash. Hey, <laughs>